I've already showed you weeks one and two of Poet Spices January Doodle Challenge. This was week one, and this was week two. I did finish weeks three and four, and I want to show those to you now. Now, on week three, what I did was I worked on painted papers from a textbook. I have this Tales of Fantasy textbook that was falling apart when I got it, so I've been using the page as wipe-off pages when I paint. And for week three, I themed all of my pages as in the kitchen. On this page, I did a coffee pot, just a fast doodle sketch. This was a whisk, the mixer, and salt and pepper shakers. And then on the back, I have the blender, the waffle maker, and you can't see this very well unless I hold it right. I did this with a silver gel pen. This is a spoon. Really had fun doing that. So that was week three. Now week four, I did on yet another different kind of paper. I really like experimenting with the different kinds of paper. These were just tears from the daily newspaper. And it was interesting to see if my doodles were going to relate to what I put on the page. And on some of them they did, and on some of them they didn't. I do think that of the four weeks that I did, that this week comes closer to actually doodling, just playing on the pages. My other skadoodles are more sketchy doodles. So the first one, I do think that the page influenced me because it was a crossword puzzle. It was the answer to a crossword puzzle, and I just doodled the word think. I also put circles around the border. The second page, <laughs> the second page is really a doodle. It was just wonky houses, and I was playing with putting the rooftops there and a tree in the background. This was a part of a weather forecast, and in our daily paper, they print different skies that the children do in school. Like here's a sunshine, rain, sunshine, that type of thing, and they coordinate it to the weekly forecast. That's kind of fun, isn't it? This one, this one I just did because I've been trying to do this in landscape mode on my phone and for some reason or another my phone quit recording in that app in landscape mode and I get this with the two big black lines and I don't like that so I just did it on newspaper and it's called girl chat I just started out with these heads here and then I put in some chairs and I call it girl chat this was a definite doodle, baby face, and this is a rose on a crossword puzzle. I don't think the puzzle influenced me. It may have, to a certain extent, with those black lines, those little black squares in there, may have said rose to me. Now, I did doodle with my fine line paint applicator around the edges on the front. I have yet to do it on the back. I am going to do that. I did do 31 doodles in January, and so I have 10, five on this side and five on this side. This one I just did yesterday's news is today's doodle paper. <laughs> That's all I was thinking of. I really do like this one as a doodle. I do think that I did do more doodling this week than actual sketches. It's just little star shapes in here, flowers, and then I put the leaves in the background. Here's another quote. When you hit a brick wall, doodle around it. And then I put a brick wall over here. The bricks actually came from, I was blocking out text on this page, and I thought bricks, and that's where 
I got this. This one, <laughs> this one, I don't know what I was doing, but I was having fun. Sunshine, and then I have an umbrella. This is the weather forecast again. I guess that influenced the rain here. Here it had bills, and I put a dollar sign. And I put, tell me it ain't so. <laughs> and this one again is, I just, I guess I can say I didn't know what I was doing. I put a house and a face. And then I put anyone home on it. So I guess these do come closer to doodles on week four, but I am very happy with them. I had fun doing all four weeks in January. It would not quite be January without this challenge. It gets me going and it gets me thinking and and I really consider it a, a fun part of my art. I will see you on the next page.